Hey again, uh, this is Christer. I am back again with this uh, Decade Stream uh, capacitor soldering uh, issue. I recorded an earlier video where I uh, uh, I used uh, uh, soldering iron to and very thin uh, solder to attach the uh, 0805 uh, capacitors to the PCB, and um, a couple of people were replying that we should, you should I should totally use. Um, uh, soldering paste and uh, hot air to do that and I thought okay that would be fun so uh, I'm gonna try that out so I actually went out and I got some uh, that this soldering paste I got a fan of Amazon like that and then I, I, I do have a, <coughs> a SMD re rework station from before that I have um, really only used to uh, remove components and not add components before so this will be uh, interesting I have my trusted uh, PCB here and we're gonna try to uh, see what we can uh, do with this so I'm going to get um, two more capacitors in here I'm using uh, this uh, fine tipped see if I can dab some of this squirting this thing out Kind of. Oh, there it comes. Ooh, it's gooey. Okay, a dab on that. I'm gonna do two just for the hell of it. No point in just doing one, is there? Okay, so that didn't look very uh, clean or anything, but I'm gonna say that worked. And then, with my little capacitors. So I want to get these neatly on because if I can't get it to be neat with using air reflow then then what's the point? Okay, let's do that. I am now reaching for my uh, reflow thing. I'm turning it on. I set it to uh, 310 degrees Celsius. You know, I don't really know if that's the right temperature or not. I, uh, Anyway, I put the airflow to kind of medium to see here. Okay, here we go. I'm starting to. Oh, this melts right away. I'm guessing I should. Uh, you know, whatever. Okay. The paste is melting. Kind of seems like it's. Oh, it's not, okay, there we go. It's kind of almost like a soda. It's kind of floating into place, which is kind of fun. It seems to form some bubbles. I guess that's actually bubbles of solder inside the uh, the goo. And if I pretty much assume that I'm going to have to have those bubbles, not these bubbles have to flow into the uh, uh, kind of where the pads are, so they're not just in the middle. So here's a bubble that I kind of have to. Okay. So that's done, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that looks like it was done. Turning off my hot air. Yeah, that looks pretty neat. But. I don't know that that was faster. I, I don't know that that was faster or. or. Uh, um, Easier than huh, than uh, doing it with a solder iron. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use. I'm going to have to practice more with uh, with uh, this. I've done a fair amount of uh, soldering iron SMD work. So I'm going to have to do a full PCB and then measure to make sure that I don't get any interference and in solder bridges and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll see how that goes. So this was inconclusive, um, so I decided to actually do one more test where I do two um, uh, soldered and two uh, hot air um, surface mount things and see compare so how that, uh, how that goes. We'll see uh, right now. Okay, so I'm actually going to try this again. I'm going to try to do uh, first 
uh, <coughs> regular soldering and then I'm gonna do the the surface mount rework airflow station um, but to begin with I'm gonna put these two resistors on using my kind of normal way of doing things a couple of resistors here one two three four okay okay so I'm gonna put these this one there and this one there and attach them using kind of normal soldering excuse me for reaching I am going to go ahead okay that's one side that's one side one side oops that was a little much and one side okay so those two are done so that's my normal way of doing this and now I'm going to see <coughs> this um, uh, hot air way of doing things so trying to squirt out some of this goo come on man So you're getting the right amount is going to be a challenge. Yeah, I don't know. Something like that. Okay, and let's get our gorgeous little resistors. Jesus, these are like that. And like that. Now I'm going to start the hot air. Let's see if I can do this without blocking the view. Okay. Wow, that resistor is floating way out of where. What the heck? Both of them do. Okay, presumably I have too much air here. Uh, I, this may, I don't know how this works, but that didn't work as well as. I would have hoped. So the first one there looks okay. Second one looks like shit. Okay, actually the second one is starting to flow into place here. Okay, see? They kind of flow. okay. So I guess that's done now. Uh, the uh, the uh, solder looks like it has flowed to both sides. Looks nicely attached. I'm going very deep with my magnifier here to see. Yeah, that looks good. That looks lovely. Oh shit! Ha! Still hot. How about that? Okay, well, interesting. Okay, well, luckily these are uh, just practice boards. So um, I guess when you use the um, airflow, the uh, board heats up much more so that the solder will stay uh, liquid or not uh, solid for much longer. Anyway, I I'm, I'm still kind of leaning towards um, uh, doing the manual way, but... Maybe this uh, hot air thing will grow on me and uh, we will we'll see.